Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, I will see how to create this effect right here using pure CSS. So I have this project opened over here with index.html and style.css. So let's start with the markup of our web page. We'll just write the basic boilerplate for HTML5 and uh, we'll just change this title over here and we'll open this with live server. Now we will link our CSS file. So type style.css and uh, here we'll create a header and uh, we will include everything inside the header and we'll have a division with the class of container and uh, in that we will have an h1 and we'll say I am a and then we'll have two spans with uh, classes of title 1 and title 2 so we'll type web developer and we'll just copy this and uh, here we will type graphics designer and we'll change this to title 2 all right that's it with the html now let's go to our css and uh, first of all we will have a universal selector and we'll set the margin of everything to zero and then we'll target the header and uh, here we'll type height of 100 viewport height display of flex align items to the center justify content to the center and uh, background of and we'll give it a linear gradient and we'll type to bottom and we'll set the colors to one two three b three eight and it will be zero percent and then we'll have another color zero 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 five zero five and we will have it sixty percent now we'll target the container so for the container we will have a width of 100% and we'll set the position to relative and we'll set the display to flex flex direction to column and align items to the center justify content to the center and we'll set the height to 100 pixels all right now we'll style the h1 the title 1 and uh, the title 2 so we'll set the color to white and the font size to 25 pixels. We'll set the font family to railway thin and uh, set the text transform to uppercase and the letter spacing to 6 pixels. Alright, so first of all we want to set the opacity to 0 for the spans and we'll set the opacity of H1 to 1. Now we'll target the title 1 and uh, title 2 and we'll set the position to absolute and we'll set the bottom to 0 pixels. Alright, now we have to create an animation. So to create an animation you have to type at keyframes and the name of the animation. So the name of our animation will be slide down and in our animation we can set percentages for timelines so if you type 50% and uh, type some styles over here then when the animation is at 50% this style will be applied to the element so let's start with 0% and uh, when we are at 0% we want to have the opacity to be 0 and the bottom position to be 40 pixels so let's add the animation to title 1 and title 2 so we'll type title 1 and to add an animation you have to type animation and uh, then the duration of the animation so we'll set the duration to 4 seconds and the name of the animation slide down and then we have the animation delay so we'll type 0 seconds and uh, we will play it infinitely alright now for the title 2 we will type animation 4 seconds slide down and uh, here we will set the animation delay to 2 seconds and uh, infinite. So what happens here is that this animation will start right away and uh, then this animation will start after 2 seconds. Now here for 5% we will set the bottom to 0 and the opacity to 1. 
and when we are at 45 percent we'll set the same styles over here so this means that uh, the state of the animation will be the same from 5 percent to 45 percent and uh, then at 50 percent we'll set the opacity to 0 and bottom to minus 40 pixels all right so here we can see the animation is working So that's it for this effect. You can go ahead and uh, make changes over here and uh, create your new effects over here. And uh, the key over here is that we have used the same animation, but uh, we have changed the animation delay so that one element appears and then the next element appears. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and subscribe to the channel to get the latest updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.